Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy King Killer back here today with another video. Thank you guys for dropping by. So in today's video, we're about to be doing a 76ers rebuild. Now, coming into the year, a lot of people had this team top three in the East, right there with the Bucks and the Celtics. And currently they are not living up to expectations. So you see right here, they eight and eight and sit ninth in the East. Now, taking a look at the roster that they got, it ain't even bad, right? You got Embiid, you got Harden, Dynamic Duo, then you got Maxi, you got Harris, Melton, Tucker, Harold, Thibault, Niang, you see the rest of the team right here. So, it is not a bad team whatsoever. I just think there are a couple issues that the team has. Now, the first being the obvious, right, is that James Harden has missed like the last six, seven, eight games, something like that. So, when your second best player is out, you're going to have a record like that. Second thing about this team is that they're paying Tobias Harris way too much money to be the third or fourth best player on this team. So I'm going to see if I can try to find a trade for him somewhere down the line. And the last, and I think it's the most important thing, is the fact that they have 6'5 PJ Tugger at power forward. Now, I don't know why they went ahead and signed them, especially at age 37. They signed them to a two year, $21 million deal. Now, I think they probably just brought him in just because him and James Harden are friends. So that probably makes sense because they have ties since those Houston days. But I don't really know why they would bring PJ Tucker to be a starting power forward. I would have thought they would have went out and got somebody else on the free agent market. Maybe someone that could actually, you know, 6'8", six, 6'9", six, somewhere around that. Because I don't really like PJ Tucker playing power forward, that small ball stuff. I'm not a big fan of, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can try to find a trade for him as well. But like I said, other than that, this team should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to make any trades for the first season. I'm going to go ahead and run the team as is. And I'm just going to go ahead and adjust some of the minutes right here. So like I said, I think they should be fine. Philly should be fine once James Harden gets back and he gets into like a rhythm of things. But for the meantime, you see right here, we are four stars. Does anything else get us four and a half maybe? No. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to simulate the year. Now, if we go ahead and I feel like we need to make a trade at the trade deadline, then you guys will see me there. But if not, you guys will see me at the end of season number one. All right, so we're here at the trade deadline and you see our record. It's not too good. We are 30 and 23. So this is not where I wanted to be. So... I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to see what I can get. Now, I kind of have a player in mind and he's on Orlando and he hasn't played in a while. So I'm going to call up Orlando and see if we could get Jonathan Isaac. Now, I'll probably trade. Uh, what would they want? I mean, would they take on Tobias Harris? I mean, maybe, right? I mean, I think they would take on Tobias Harris. So I'm going to see if I could try to get Tobias Harris for Jonathan Isaac. Now, they probably have to throw in another player. And nobody on the team's really making money. So I'm going to take a one-year deal. Somebody that I know I could just go ahead and release later. And would they actually take P.J. Tucker in this trade? No, they couldn't. So I think this is a pretty fair, fair trade. Because like I said, when I do do these trades, I like to try to keep it realistic. And Jonathan Isaac hasn't played. He hasn't played in like, what, two seasons. And they already have two other power forwards that are ahead of him in the rotation. So I think this kind of makes sense for them to do. And since I'm taking on a player, can I get, uh, I'm going to say, can I get a first round pick out of this? They probably won't let me do this. Okay, no. So I'll probably just take this trade straight up and they actually don't do it. So what if I threw you a second round pick? Still not interested. Okay, come on, man. Jonathan Isaac hasn't played. Okay, there we go. So we get it done. So now I want to go ahead and try to trade PJ Tucker. And I kind of don't have somebody in mind maybe um, who could i really because i would like a small forward because now we don't really have the small forward actually i think they make about the same i think they make about the same let me call up toronto and let me see if he is on here okay yeah okay so would they do this pj tucker and auto porter and i'll go ahead and i'll throw in a second round pick as well uh okay they have to add an exception okay will they do this okay they don't let me see if i could add another second round pick okay they still don't okay one more second round pick because that's all i got okay there we go so now we just upgraded the team a little bit we got better defensively we got another sharpshooter what is he shooting on the year he is shooting uh okay 50 35 100 from free throw so it's not too bad and then isaac is averaging seven five uh 1.2 steals 1.2 blocks and he's not shooting the worst and because usually in 2k he has like the worst 
like field goal percentage, three point percentage, but we're looking pretty good right here. So I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adjust the minutes just a little bit. I'm gonna give Isaac a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and lower his down. Uh, we can give Melton a little less, give Harold some, and then uh, I would say like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually, do I wanna run Bible or Harris? Oh, we're already playing a lot to Harris. I mean, to uh, Melton and Harden. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna run the roster with this team, with this lineup right now. And hopefully we finish the year at least top four in the, in the East. All right, so we finish out season number one. Luka winning MVP, Ben Curry winning uh, Rookie of the Year, Simmons Sixth Man of the Year, Davis Defensive Player, Sagoon Most Improved, and then Joe Mazzula Coach of the Year. Do we get anybody on an All NBA team? We get Embiid, and we get Harden. So we got the dynamic duo on the All NBA second team, and then that'll probably be it. Does Embiid make it? Okay, so Embiid makes the All Defensive second team. So let's see where we finished out the year. Hopefully, it's not too bad. And oh, okay. I mean, it's not too too bad. We're only two games, um, two games away from a 50 win season. So we finished fifth in the East. And let's see what our player stats looks like. Uh, okay, so we got Embiid leading the way with 27 and a half, 12 rebounds, four assists, one steal, and two blocks a night. And then Harden with 26, six and a half, 11 assists, one steal. And then you got Tyrese Maxey averaging 18. This man's gonna be a future all-star, I could tell. Uh, Melton with 12 off the bench. Harold with 10, Nyang with eight. Isaac with eight, what did he do? He put up eight, five, 1.4 steals, 1.6 blocks. And like I said, not the worst shooting. I'll take that, it's a pretty decent shooting from him. Harris did not play for us. Porter, oh, Porter did not live up to expectations. Come on, man, how you drop all the way? So he is shooting 40 and 30. Okay, so that's not what I expected. Thank God he's only a one year deal. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna adjust these lineups. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and give him less minutes. Gonna give him a little bit more. Uh, gonna drop, uh, who played better? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop Thibault. I'm gonna go ahead and drop him by one. Give him one more. 38 and then 38 so we're gonna run a lineup like this i'm kind of scared i'm not gonna lie because i don't really know how i feel about this team i just don't like the fact that auto porter isn't making shots and that's what we got him for so we're gonna be taking on atlanta now does atlanta have anybody i should be worried about not really did they add anybody oh, i think they traded away capella oh they did trade away capella unless he's injured well actually i haven't used off okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna simulate round one and okay so we beat philly i mean we beat atlanta in five and miami beats boston in seven damn by two points oh that's tough so we are taking on the eight seeded miami heat kyle lowry hero butler oh they added rudy gay uh did they add anybody else not really okay so like i said i'm not feeling too scared against this team and we are on so the Eastern Conference Finals taking on the Pacers. We went in seven, and what was it? Did we win? We won by one point. Joel and B 49 and 18. Harden 34 and 17. Oh my god, this team is nice. Okay, this team is really good. And you see Hero and Butler try to try to help out 33 each, but it was not enough. Van was 28. So real quick, I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just play this this one out, and then I'll show you guys the stats. So Indiana doesn't really scare me, and watch this team be the one that beats me because I said that. But I'm feeling confident. We should be on our way to the finals, and we are on our way to the finals, baby. Let's go. So we have our facing. We are facing the Mavericks. So. Okay, so Mavericks are usually scary in the simulation. So did they add anybody? They added Robert Cummington. Uh, that should be it. Nobody else that they really added. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you guys these stats of what we're looking like. So right here, you see Harden is leading the way with 31, 5.5, 13, 1 steal. And B with 28, 12, and almost 5 with 1 steal and a block a night. Maxi with 20, Harold with 11 and a half, Melton with 11. Uh, Isaac, how's he doing? He's 9.6 rebounds, one assist, one steal, like a block. 
Okay, not bad. Like I said, I wish he would improve a little bit more. Yang with six. How's Porter doing? Okay, Porter stepped it up at least from DP is shooting way better from downtown. And that should pretty much be it. And then Thibault getting ooh, those shooting percentages. Okay, thank God we don't have him there for offense. We have him there for defensive purposes only. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna simulate these uh these games. So first game of the finals and mavericks already jumping out to a lead but we get the lead back and damn they put up 44 in the first quarter so we are about to win game one we dropped 149 on them you see right here damn luca with 39 tim hardaway with 21 but rn 33 27 and 18 almost a triple double for Embiid. harold uh, maxi with 22 harold with 16 porter with 15 so not too bad we're gonna go ahead and simulate for game number two so it would be nice to get a 2-0 lead Heading back to Philadelphia now. Ooh, so they kind of jump out to a pretty big lead, and I think they're about to win. Yeah, they're about to win game two. Okay, so we go back to Philly. At least we're at least we won one game on the road. That's what we were supposed to do. So jumping out to a nice lead in the first two quarters, and it's looking like uh, we have a five-point lead. We almost blow it. Okay, so we don't blow it. We win by three points. Let's see what it was. Harden with 35, almost had a triple double. And B with 25, Melton with 18, Porter with 15, uh, Isaac with 13 and 10. That's what I'm talking about. And yeah, you see the rest of the team right there. So now, can we go up three to one in this series? Come on. Let's go back to Dallas up three one. Doesn't that sound nice? Doesn't that sound peachy? Uh, we are pretty good yeah we're gonna win this game so we're heading back to dallas up three games to one that's what i'm talking about so now can we win i, I really hope we don't blow a 3-1 lead because i know i shouldn't be saying this because i know it's, i'm probably gonna jinx myself but it just happens so many so many times so often but right here can we win it again in year number one and it looks like we are look at this lead we are up by 22 points in the fourth quarter and we are about to win the championship in year number one. Let's go, baby. It's too easy. I don't even need three seasons. I'm supposed to get three seasons to win the title, and I keep winning it in year one. So you see right here, Harden wins finals MVP. 33 points, six rebounds, 11 assists, one and a half steals, 64% from the field, and 43% from downtown. Oh, my God. We just won this one again. Okay, I, I low-key think the biggest addition was obviously Jonathan Isaac. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to see these stats in the finals now Harden like I said I already read you guys the stats Embiid with 27 11 and 6 almost two blocks a night Harold I mean Maxi with 22 3 and almost four I mean uh four and a half assists with 1.4 steals Melton with about 14 Otto Porter with 10 how did he shoot he shot okay so he shot he shot lights out 50% from the field and 50% from three Harold with nine and a half Jonathan Isaac with 9.6, 6 rebounds, 1 assist, 0.4 steals, 1.6 blocks. He had a lot of turnovers, though. And he shot pretty good. Pretty good efficiency from Jonathan Isaac. So I'm glad to see that they finally stopped screwing over Jonathan Isaac. Because I'm telling you, every single year, everybody knows who does these rebounds. Jonathan Isaac could play defense. He just cannot shoot to save his life. Yang with, uh, oh, I was about to say, he averaged 15. Okay, so he averaged 5.6 and then Thibel with 2.2. So this was actually a pretty good roster. This was a fun roster. And like I said, I like trying to keep them realistic. And I think right here, what I did was realistic. We went ahead, we got off the uh, the Tobias Harris contract and we ended up getting Jonathan Isaac. And like I said, it kind of makes sense for Magic to trade him away just because he is like the third best power forward on his team. And he hasn't played like in two, two three years. So it kind of makes sense that they would try to move on from him. He's still a good player. He just had to face those injuries. And then the other player that I got, I went ahead and traded PJ Tucker for Otto Porter. And I kind of think they would do it. Why not? I went ahead and threw in, I think, one or two second round picks to get it done. And Harold was, I mean, uh, Porter was a nice addition to the team. He stepped it up in the playoffs because he was not shooting good in the regular season. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap up this video now. I think for the next video that I do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make it. Even if I win in the first year, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do more seasons just because I kind of feel like you guys maybe want to see longer videos. You guys just don't want to see me winning like in the first season every single time. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that for the next rebuild that I'm going to do. 
And yeah, if you guys end up liking the video, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already because we're on the road to a thousand subscribers. And make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link will be down below in the description. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully I gave you Philly fans some hope. And I'll catch you on the next one. Stay safe. Peace.